Hey guys, welcome to the farm. If it's your first time being part of our channel. My name is Aaron. Today I wanted to show you one of our favorite cover crops. This is sun hemp. Um, it is in the legume family. It's not that kind of hemp. Uh, so don't even think about it, everybody. This is a warm season, hot season cover crop. Cover cropping is one of the practices that we're trying to get into uh, in order to nurture the soil, add organic matter, add nitrogen and stuff like that. We got this seed from Haas Tools. Uh, we'll put that link below. This is one of, it just is thriving and doing such a great job. I mean, I'm six foot tall. This is at least, some of these are over six feet tall. Just a great, fast cover crop in the hot, hot days of summer. It is doing really, really well. It's almost a shame that we've got to cut it down. We might be a little bit too late with it, but if you check these out, like these are the seed pods. If I can do this one-handed. Hold on here. You can see those little jelly bean looking things. So those are the seeds. Uh, I don't think they're mature yet. I think these have to dry off, but we probably let these go way too far. Uh, but it's really hard. You can see this carpenter bee behind me is just loving these flowers. I mean, this is a multi-use cover crop. It brings pollinators. It adds organic matter. It adds nitrogen to your soil. So if you're looking for a fast growing hardy, I mean, this, this plot that we planted this in didn't grow anything. And so we thought, well, we might as well put some sun hemp in it and just see if we could like fix the soil, if we could amend it so that something will grow next time. Um, and it is doing a fantastic job. As far as we can tell, there's no pest issues with it. There's no fungal issues or bacterial issues. I'm gonna cut this down and I get to feed it to my animals. So this is like, I'm almost thinking there's nothing that this sun hemp can't do. Um, really, really fun to work with. Um, I'm gonna have to use a weed eater on this because the, um, I think this is used for fiber in you know other countries, but it's really, really uh, fibrous. It's really tough. So I'm gonna have to kind of chop it off as close as I can, till it under, and then go from there and then plant. Uh, we've got some seeds started right now. Um, I think we're gonna put some squash, some zucchini in this, uh, this area. <laughs> you see this huge carpenter bee just, just loves this stuff. So uh, this is definitely gonna be one of the uh, cover crops that we cycle through in our garden. Um, it's just amazing, it's amazing. We like this one and buckwheat. Uh, buckwheat is really, really fast growing. Warm season cover crop. I mean, here in California, it is hot. 100 degrees today. We get uh, a few months where we consistently get 100 degree days. I mean, it also has done a pretty good job at suppressing weeds. We've got a, a couple weeds in here, uh, but for the most part, it outgrew all the weeds and you can see all the leaves that it dropped down there. It didn't suppress that little kale plant right there. That's been going all winter long. So we'll probably keep that there, but you can see, I mean, there's not a lot of weeds down here. We didn't spray this with anything. Uh, we just put these, uh, you sun hemp seeds down and let them go to work. One other really cool thing is it had an excellent germination rate. We just put a handful of seeds down in this little plot right here. You can see it's probably, it's like three by 10. Um, and it just did really, really well. Lots of seeds sprouted. And so a little bit of seed goes a long way. Um, highly recommend, check that link out below. I'm gonna chop this down and uh, feed it to my hungry sheep over here on the other side of the fence. This sun hemp's life cycle is gonna be complete. It's gonna help feed us, feed the soil, feed our animals. That's why this one is so interesting to us. Rachel even likes this stuff so much. Uh, she's been using it in a couple of her bouquets. Um, it just gives some nice green foliage. Um, and these are closing up as the sun goes down. Uh, I found out pulled out my 
weed eater you see hasn't, hasn't been pulled out in a while the little bulb's got a crack in it and there's no gas in it so i gotta do it the old-fashioned way but it's okay with a good pair of shears this area is not a huge deal to cut down it's taking me a few minutes and uh now go back inside so now if i was doing like a row of this or something like that i would definitely need some kind of machine but this is not too bad uh these aren't it's not as uh fibrous as i thought i mean these uh rusty scissors do the trick and i'm gonna cut it down i'm gonna feed it to my sheep and then call it night Do us a favor before you leave, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and press that notification bell so you'll be notified anytime 4Kids on a Farm has a new video. We super appreciate your support. Do good, avoid evil, and we'll see you next time.